on this one. So thank you so much for joining me <clears throat> this morning, my stay-at-home friends. I mean, this is, uh, this is interesting times we're in, isn't it? But I'm really glad that you could be here and that you could uh, join me. If we're going we're to read a story together, and then we're going to make a craft. Um, but I just, I just wanted to thank you so much for, uh, for coming out on this day. It's gotten kind of weird, hasn't it? It's gotten a little bit strange. But there's, um, there's a really good friend that I had when I was growing up, and his name was Mr. Rogers. And he had some really great advice for times like this. He said, when you're worried or you're anxious or things don't seem to be right, look for the helpers. And there's a lot of helpers in our lives. We have moms and dads who are helpers. Um, I know that I got a lot of help from my brother, Bill, and from my sister, Martha. She was a great helper. So we have family that's help, that, that, that can help us um, understand what's going on and maybe feel a little more comfortable. We have all these great people around us, our neighbors, our teachers doctors and nurses and people in the grocery stores. Ah, oh, it's just fantastic how much help there is around us when we look for those people who are out there to help us. Um, and I wanna say that you can help too. And that sometimes can help us feel better about what's going on when we know there's something we can do. And there is, you can be a great helper by staying home, um, by, uh, by playing with your pets, maybe by setting the table for a meal that you have with your family. All of those things are great ways for you to help. So um, let's get into it, let's, let's get reading. And what we're going to do is we're gonna be reading A Friend for Henry. And um, Henry is, uh, is a boy who, he, he needs some helpers sometimes. He has some trouble finding friends. He's not really sure um, how to go about it. So, uh, Let's read about him and find out uh, if Henry can actually get that friend that he's looking for, okay? Um, oh, and I wanna say that uh, I'm reading this with permission from Chronicle. Thank you so much, Chronicle. You're awesome. Um, they said, go ahead and read that story. So uh, that's what I'm doing. And it, this was illustrated by Mika Song. Mika is an amazing illustrator. And she had some, uh, she showed us how to draw some things earlier this week on Stamola Live. So yay, thank you, Mika. I'm gonna be doing more of that. Um, so let's start A Friend for Henry. In classroom six, second left down the hall, Henry was looking for a friend. It couldn't be Gilly who circled the fishbowl. She's quiet, thought Henry, but she can't play on the swings. It couldn't be Mrs. Magoon who knew about hugs. She shares, thought Henry, but she has to. Could it be someone else in classroom six? In art class, Vivienne shared Henry's double easel Vivian was a kaleidoscope of colors, a, tang a tangle of colors. She had ribbons and clackety shoes. She knew every pony song. Her fingernails were painted like rainbows. When I get paint on my fingers, Henry said, I wash it off. Vivian waved her hands too close to Henry's face. My mommy painted them. Aren't they pretty? Painting on people is against the rules, said Henry. Did your mommy get in trouble? No, Henry lowered his voice. Did you get angry? Why should I? But Vivienne was very angry later. He ruined them. She likes rainbows, Henry explained, and he thought a friend would say thank you. Reading time was Henry's favorite. My friend will like it too. It was Henry's turn to put out the carpet squares. He took the blue ones next to the brown ones, green in the very middle. All the edges met and the corners fit perfectly. Reading time, shouted Samuel, my favorite. Samuel was a thunderstorm, booming and crashing. He was kind of scary if you didn't have your blanket. He could pick up crayons with his toes and do proper somersaults. Henry stepped in front of Samuel. Somersaults are hard. Samuel dodged past. I want a green one. 
wait. Henry's throat felt tight. They're perfect. Mine's a magic carpet from a genie's lamp, said Samuel. It's not, Henry's face was hot. It's from Rugworld, there's the sticker. Up, up and away, magic carpet. Booming and crashing. Henry's fingers curled closed. A friend listens. Oh my goodness, Henry seems to be upset. Henry, Mrs. Magoon, knelt in front of him. Sit with me, please. Henry did, but he couldn't see the pictures, and his carpet square was brown. During snack time, Jaden took three crackers instead of two. At recess, Riley dug up worms and let them use the swings. <gasps> this is not a good day for Henry. Oh my goodness, I hope he finds a friend. At free time, Henry's hope for a friend felt small. He watched the sunlight play along Gilly's scales. He could watch Gilly for a long time. Katie watched too. Katie smelled like strawberry milk. She read storybooks all by herself. She slid down the big slide, sometimes backwards. The big slide is too big, said Henry. Gilly floated past. She's shimmery, said Katie, but she doesn't blink, said Henry. What does she do? She burps pebbles, Henry thought, and breathes underwater and turns sunshine into colors. Henry hunched into his sweatshirt, fish things. Katie bent to have a closer look. I like her. Henry tried not to blink. Want to play blocks? Sure. I don't like triangles, said Henry. I don't like broccoli, said Katie. Together they built a tower. It had rectangles, cylinders, and squares, but no triangles or broccoli. It's perfect, said Henry. Thank you, said Katie. The next day, they played on the swings and Katie went down the big slide. Henry waited at the bottom for his friend. And there's this lovely piece at the end. So do you think, do you think that maybe Henry found his friend? I think that Mika did such a beautiful job coming up with some really nice pictures in here and doing some beautiful art. And I think that Henry found a friend at the end. I'm I sure that's, that was the plan. Um, you know, but while he was looking, um, he wasn't quite sure, was he? He wasn't quite sure what he was gonna find, but this was probably his first friend. I love this picture. Here Henry is with Gilly in the fishbowl. And I thought how much fun it could be when we have to kind of not see our friends that much. You know, we've got to stay home and maybe we can't go out and play like we were doing before, but we could make a friend. We could make a fish friend today. So let's do that thing. So I asked in the, if you came through Stamola Live, I said, what you're going to need is you're going to need some scissors. And so I have my scissors right here. And I did say if you've got a stapler, because sometimes I have trouble gluing. Sometimes I get glue everywhere. I can be a little messy, but you can use glue if you, if you want to. Um, and I have some, some crayons. So here's my glue and my stapler, and I've got some, I love these crayons. These are big monster crayons. And then, and I've also got markers and, um, I've got, you know, other colors. So you've got your construction paper. I asked you to bring some construction paper. So I've, I've got lots of colors. So I want to pick up a, a color. I think that I want a bright color because it's kind of bright outside. So I'm going to use yellow. So let me see. I want to tilt this down so you can see our craft, what we're going to do. How's this? And again, I'm sorry for the crazy portrait mode. I'm gonna figure this out if we get to do this again and make it so it's more like a movie and less like a picture. Okay, all right. Ooh, you've got your paper right here. And a lot of my friends will know that. So you're gonna fold it like a hamburger, right? Or don't do anything, or you fold it like a hot dog. Those are the ways you can fold your paper. So we're gonna fold the paper like a hot dog, okay? 
so it looks like a hot dog bun. And make a crease. So we've got it folded just like that, okay? Then we take our scissors, we have to be really careful with them. So we take our scissors and we're gonna cut down that fold. So we're gonna end up with two pieces of paper. So cut right through following that fold. And you might ask for help from, from your, your older helper with you. Maybe it's a brother or sister, or maybe it's a, a parent or somebody. So if you need some help, you go ahead and you ask for help because we get to do that when we're having fun and, and learning new things. We can all ask for help. So, okay, so we've got our piece of paper. Now we're gonna, we're gonna don't crease it, but we're gonna put one end to the other end, just like that. Do you see? So you've got this bumpy end here, what, 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 and you've got that right there. So, and I'm gonna go ahead and staple it, because this is how I learned to do this craft. I put in three staples. Now, if you don't have staples, you can always use tape. I had tape here a minute ago, and I'm not sure where it is. Um, or you can use glue. You can just glue down here. Oh, there's my tape, thank you. So you can use tape. You can tape it down or you can use glue. But I went ahead and used staples. So now we've got something that looks like this. And you're saying, that doesn't look like a fish. That's not a fish. And I'm saying, oh, just wait, just wait. So now without creasing it, without folding it, I want you to take your scissors and be careful because scissors are sharp. And I want you to cut like a V. So you're gonna cut a V in here and you're gonna cut from this side. So you're making like a V shape. And you're cutting out, you're cutting out that. You see how that's working? And you have this left. Now this you can fold because I'm gonna want you to cut down this crease line. I'm gonna do that. So now I have a bunch of pieces. So I've got triangles. Oh, Henry wouldn't like those. He's not a fan of triangles. But we're gonna go ahead and use triangles. And we've got this. Now that's starting to look maybe like, more like a fish. There's the mouth. Now we get to do um, some gluing. So I'm gonna take one of these triangles and I'm gonna glue right on a tip. It doesn't matter which one, because this triangle's pretty, pretty even. So I'm just gonna pick a Pick an end here and I'm gonna glue on that. And then I'm gonna glue it right by the mouth. See like this, a little bit, a little bit away, anywhere really. But I'm gonna do that. But I didn't glue it all down because I want it to, I want it to be able to, to be a, a fin. So we're gonna do that on one side and we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. Yay. We glue that one down. All right, so now look, oh my goodness, I think we're getting more and more like a fish every moment. And we still have our boop boop face. Now with that scrap paper that you have, that other piece, I want you to cut a big V. So start from one end and go up, up, up. And then from the other end and go up, up, up like that. And cut that up. Okay, now we've got a big triangle. And we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna glue that so it's on the back. So we've got the back fin. So I'm gonna glue it. Yay. Okay, so look, we're getting there, huh? Looks kind of like a fish. I think it looks a lot like a fish, but you know what our fish friend needs? He needs eyes. So this is where we get to do the drawing. We get to color, and so you can get your markers. You know, although when I was looking through my craft things, I found, um, I found these that I use. Uh, you know, your mom or dad might have something like this. So you could use something like this if you wanted or if you had other stickers to make an eye. Uh, or 
If you want to draw an eye, you can pick any color that you want. I'm gonna use this color. And I'm gonna make a circle and make a little eye. And I can, or you can have a, an eye like that. So you decide which way you wanna go, whether you wanna draw that eye on or whether you might wanna put a sticker eye on. I'm gonna use my crayon again and I'm gonna draw some lines on my fins. Kind of three lines so that I can see that it's a fin. I'm gonna do that on the big tail. So we've got that. I'm gonna do it on my other side. All right. And there we have our fish friend. And you can keep going, you know, you can keep going with stickers or with your crayons or with your markers and make and decorate this fish friend as much as you want because he's your fish friend and he's happy to do it. But I wanna tell you, after I made my fish friend, I was practicing yesterday. I was like, well, what can we do together besides, you know, play and have a great time? And I thought he can be with me all day because I have my drink cup that I, I drink my water out of uh, during the day. And look at this, this is really kind of fun. Uh, he fit right around my cup. So that's how I'm gonna use him today. He's gonna help me remember to drink a lot of water and stay hydrated while we're all hanging out at home. And that's how I'm gonna use my fish friend. Hi, fish friend. I think I'm gonna name him Henry. That's gonna be his name. Okay, so is there another way that we can do a fish? There is, I think, oh, we have a little bit of time. So we can make even another kind of fish. So I'm gonna put Henry the fish aside. And I'm gonna take another piece of construction paper. And this one we're gonna fold like a hamburger, okay? Here we go, we're folding him up like a hamburger. Ta-da, okay? And on this fold, we're gonna use our hand. It's gonna be, it's gonna be interesting. Um, so take one of your crayons and I want you to put this part of your hand, this is called the heel of your hand. Sounds kind of weird, doesn't it? But that's what it is, it's the heel. And you're gonna put that uh, over your paper like that. And then I want you to trace, you don't have to trace your thumb part, I want you to trace your four fingers down along your paper. Okay? So you've probably done something like this when you've done a turkey for, um, for Thanksgiving time or something. So you're gonna end up with a shape that kind of looks like that. Now you're taking your scissors again. Don't cut through that fold. We're gonna cut out around that shape that we just made. This is gonna be, really, it's not technically a fish. I think you'll see, but it's another underwater creature. I think you'll see when we get it all done up. Oh my goodness, there's a lot of cutting in this one, isn't there? Good thing I have good scissors. Ah, oh, now. Now it looks like this, okay? And have you guessed what we're gonna be making? Because we're gonna put a staple right here, or we're gonna put glue. Actually, let's do it with glue this time. I think I'm gonna be brave. I, I wasn't too messy last time. So we're gonna open it up and we're gonna glue this part on the inside. And then we're gonna put that back down, put it back together. So that was pretty easy. We're gonna put that back together. And we've got, we're gonna curl these, because if we count them, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. <gasps> Have you guessed it? Yeah, we're making an octopus. Ah, okay. All right, so I'm gonna get a different color. I'm gonna make, um, make some eyes on my octopus. I think I wanna make him, he's gonna be looking over at the fish friend. So you know where you put those extra things, that kind of tells you where he's looking and he's gonna have an oh face because he's, He's pretty happy about, about being involved. Ooh. 
So we've got that. And I think if you have a small marker or you have a pencil, watch what you can do. I want you to take each foot and I want you to kind of roll the foot up. Do you see like that? And then when you let go, <laughs> he's got a curl. So it gives him a little bit of movement. So let's do that. Let's curl up those feet. Now I haven't thought what this octopus friend might be able to, to you know, he, I, he won't fit around my drink cup at all. Um, not sure, but uh, looks like he could hold a pencil though, doesn't it? I'm not sure what we'll do with him. I just like the idea of giving Henry the fish a little bit of companionship today because I'm going to be a little busy today. I have two dogs I got to walk. So while I'm out walking that way, Henry will have a friend because that's the whole point. So there you go. So now you've got your octopus with his eight legs or yeah, or he could be a jellyfish. I'm seeing a friend with us who's saying, oh, maybe it's a jellyfish. It can be either one and you can decorate him as well. So we've got Henry, and we can put his we can put his his other buddy here like this. So we've got both of our friends. All right. Oops, I touched my face. <laughs> but so I want to thank you so much for sharing your day with me. Um, I know this is kind of like a whole new way to do things, isn't it? And new things can be a little scary sometimes. I mean, that's the whole the whole point of the of the book that I wrote was that sometimes when things change, um, it can make us a little nervous. And it can make us a little scared. Uh, but um, but that's okay. We've got a lot of lovely people around us who who are really here to help us feel good. And when we can help, that makes that makes us feel like we have some control, which is really kind of. Uh, a good thing. So remember all the ways that you can that you can help. The biggest way you can help is by staying home. Um, and when you're home, you can you can, you know, uh, help out by as I said, playing with your pets or playing games with your uh, brothers and sisters if you have them. Um, making some crafts. I mean, you could make your whole room an underwater room by just putting fish everywhere and and making some. Uh, octopus or making some jellyfish and you know what I'd love to see what you end up coming up with so if you wanted to um, take a picture and send it to me I would love to see it I would really be excited I bet a lot of you came up with some neat colors and fun ways to decorate your fish uh, and I'd love to know what you called them what you named them um, and uh, it would be just super to see um, all that you've all that you've done uh, and that would be a help too. That would help me feel really good to know that you're um, that you're doing some good stuff and and having a good time. So thank you so much, my stay-at-home friends. Um, I had an awesome time spending this morning with you. And if I get to do it again, I will absolutely uh, put out a link, and maybe we can do this another time. Okay. So read some good books and make some fun fish and. Um, and have a great day. Thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye.